Let's build this glitch widget multi-effect with Ableton Live's nested racks. Open this tutorial's Live 9 project file found in the Tutorial Files folder. Within this session we've set up seven individual one-knob racks on a looped channel. One of these is the filter to chorus effect built in the previous tutorial. And the others, Crush, Robot, Pitch Up, Reverb, Roll and Delay, are all inspired by famous single parameter DJ mixer effects. Open up the racks and see how they're made. When each is knob is fully left, the effect is off. Turning it up activates it. And in many cases, alters multiple parameters at the same time. Click on the first rack's title bar, then shift click on the last, or Ctrl or Command A to select all, to highlight the seven devices. Then hit Ctrl or Command G to group or nest them within one parent audio effect rack. Toggle the parent rack show chain list button. Note that our single chain is comprised of the seven effect racks in series so our signal flows from the leftmost device through to the rightmost. Like any other device, a rack can be moved throughout the chain or removed from it via drag and drop. Hide the chain list, then reveal its macro controls. As each individual rack is controlled by one macro, we can assign these to seven of the parent rack's eight macro encoders. We'll leave the eighth macro free for later. Right click on the high pass filter racks first macro and map to macro 1. Head into the crush rack, right click on its first macro and select map to macro 2. Repeat this process for the rest of the effects. Seven of the rack's eight macro controls should now control a different DJ effect. Let's set up the 8th macro as a kill switch to instantly deactivate all of the effects at once. Right click on the 7 individual rack's device activator buttons and assign each to macro 8 of the parent rack. Click on the rack's map button to open its macro mappings menu, then assign each's device on minimum setting to 127 and max setting to around 5. Rename macro 8 to kill. Once this knob breaches a value of 5, all devices are deactivated. Okay. 
untoggle the show hide devices buttons, condensing the rack down to a simple interface with eight controls to hand. Right click on the rack's title bar and choose rename or use the control or command R shortcut to give the rack an appropriate name. We've named ours Glitch Widget. Colour the eight macro controls via the right click menu, then save the device to your library. For hands on fun, assign the eight macros to encoders on a hardware controller. The seven effects in our Glitch Widget rack can now be mixed in either individually or in combination with each other. Try sweeping the first five macros around to process the signal, then subsequently catch short sections in the roll effects stuttering tempo sync buffer. Each affects the next in the chain, so reorder the effects for different results. Also experiment with the roll and kill knobs in tandem. As you turn the roll effect on and off with the kill knob, it will sample a new section of the input signal. exclusive plugins, get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.